my research focuses on image-based sexual abuse. Image-based sexual abuse is a range of behaviors that include the non-consensual production, distribution, or use of intimate or sexually explicit images to control another person's behavior. Within this range of behaviors, um, some of the common types of cases that we see are known as revenge pornography, sextortion, and non-consensual sexting. Oftentimes, people will, who are victimized by image-based sexual abuse, particularly women, will feel that they're unable to seek help, especially from law enforcement. And so the goal of these research projects is to really understand how image-based sexual abuse occurs so we can empower law enforcement to be better advocates for victims of image-based sexual abuse and then be able to help them more effectively. Support from the WLP award will allow me to receive much needed assistance in data collection and coding for a large survey that I'm conducting on image-based sexual abuse. These types of crimes have serious impacts on women and it really impacts their ability to feel safe, especially in online spaces. However, there's still much that we don't know about image-based sexual abuse. For example, it's likely that individuals have very different experiences of image-based sexual abuse based on their gender identity, their sexual orientation, race, ethnicity, and even their age. Currently, I'm working right now with the Michigan State University Police Department, who's had an upswing in their reports on sexual extortion, especially targeting males, which is a new area that we really don't know a lot about which is part of the reason that I want to conduct the survey to see what those gender differences are. This research is part of a larger initiative on the Sarasota Manatee campus to start a cybercrime research lab. This research lab will allow me and other cybercrime researchers to conduct research on technology facilitated violence and violence against women, as well as other innovative projects in cybercrime and cybersecurity. One goal of the research is to allow individuals who are being victimized by image-based sexual abuse to know that they're not alone and that there's multiple ways in which they can seek help. Part of that initiative with the Michigan State University Police Department is to inform prevention programs that will allow students on campuses to feel safe and to know the steps that they can take if this type of crime is occurring and to equip the police uh, department with more resources on how they can help students through these different types of crimes that they're seeing now. Unraveling these questions can tell us much more about how gender-based violence plays out in online spaces and how we can better protect women and create a more equitable online environment for everyone to contribute. And this will further solidify University of South Florida's position as a real thought leader in this space.